हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टिल नाउ वी नो दैट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी दैट एनर्जी कैन नाइदर बी क्रिएटेड नॉट बी डिस्ट्रॉयड और फॉर एन आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम द टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट नाउ दिस वी आर स्टडिंग द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मकैनिकल एनर्जी एंड एंड इट स्टेट्स दैट इफ ओनली द कंजर्वेटिव फोर्सेज आर डूइंग वर्क ऑन अ बॉडी द फोर्सेज दैट आर डूइंग वर्क ऑन अ बॉडी शुड बी कंजर्वेटिव then in that case the total mechanical energy remains constant now total mechanical energy means the sum of kinetic and potential energy so the statement for this uh, law is or this principle is if only the conservative forces are doing work on a body then its mechanical energy now mechanical means the total of kinetic and potential mechanical energy remains constant this is the principle of conservation of mechanical energy now we can also prove it so here we have its proof suppose uh, for proving this we are considering that there is a body which is undergoing a displacement delta x under the action of a conservative force so we are assuming that a conservative force fx acting on a body such that it shows displacement delta x okay this is we are assuming now from work energy theorem we know that the work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy and work done is given as the product of force and the displacement so from work energy theorem change in kinetic energy is equal to the work done so we can write it as change in kinetic energy means delta of k is equal to the work done is force into displacement so this is the equation we have let it be equation number 1 this is from work energy theorem now since the force is conservative so the change in potential energy change we have in potential energy we just find the relation between potential energy and the conservative forces so by using that if the forces are conservative we can write potential energy or the change in potential energy delta u in terms of that force as negative of the work done by that force means fx delta x let it be equation number 2 now from equation number 1 and 2 if we compare these two what we get is from 1 and 2 we can write delta k is equal to negative of this value negative of delta u delta k is equal to negative of delta u and if we rearrange it we get delta k plus delta u is equal to 0 since the change in kinetic energy and the change in potential energy their sum is zero that means the energy is constant or we can write delta k plus u is equal to zero means total change in the sum of kinetic and potential energy is zero since change is zero that we can imply that the value of this energy kinetic energy plus potential energy is some constant only then change can be zero so this is the law of conservation or principle of conservation of mechanical energy or we can write that kinetic energy at initial point plus potential energy at initial point is equal to kinetic energy at final point plus potential energy at final point so the sum of energies at initial is equal to sum of energies at potential or Uh, mechanical energy at initial point is equal to mechanical energy at final point hence the principle of conservation of mechanical energy is proved here which shows the if the if 
only the conservative forces are doing work on a body then its mechanical energy remains constant there is no change in it so that's all for this video for further videos stay tuned and keep studying thank you